another theme of exploration I'd like to venture in today is um, the differentiating factor between um, synchronicity and serendipity. They, 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 they share a common denominator, you know, but they're both mutually exclusive, but they're parallel. They, they, they are, they're closely related somewhat. It's like comparing ambivalence and ambiguity. Ambiguity means indecisiveness and ambivalence means indecisive also, but amb ambivalence relates to, you know, uh, more subjectively, personal mental state, like the mental state you're in. I'm in a state of mental ambivalence, meaning that you're in a state of indecisiveness, whether it is to make a decision or what. Right, and ambiguity may refer to more, from a more external perspective, non-subjective, um, personal, emotional self, but outside the parameters of subjectivity. Ambiguity may apply to, you know, more objective sense, like a painting. You might find a, a painting ambiguous of art, just object things outside the parameters of, of self. Right, and the word ambiguous is a, it's an ambiguous word, which I don't want to go into because, on one hand, it means ambi it means more than one interpretation, two interpretation, and also in the decisiveness in a somewhat vague, curious, curious kind of way. So you see the differentiating, the differentiating factor. Put your thoughts together, man. You see the differentiating factor between ambivalence and ambiguity. It's they kind of like that when it comes to synchronicity and serendipity. Synchronicity deals with, let me try to differentiate the factors. The boat deals with uncontrolled events in success. It's a cascading um, succession of uncontrolled the events. One is in anticipation in a favorable, optimistic um, 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 pattern, and the other one deals with an unfavorable, but ends up turning out to be an optimistic pattern. Let me break this down, because I had quite a few people, people complain about me using too many um, jargonic terms and um, saying that my videos, my these, these specific type of videos of, are too esoteric. It's not esoteric, man. These things are fundamental stuff. These are not, these are not, I'm not discussing quantum mechanics on a molecular level. I'm not discussing freaking organic chemistry. Come on, man. This is fundamental stuff. I am saying it's not esoteric stuff, man. It, it, it could be widely understood by the masses if you all are willing to really sit down and decide this stuff. Synchronicity deals with um, um, uh, a, 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 a perpetual cascading events of um um of um of coincidences in successions, one event leads to another, one another leads to another, in a form of anticipation or unanticipation, but always turns out to be in an optimistic way that works in your favor. So when Dipidi now works in the in a kind of contrasting, polarized way, where is you have synchronicity, but the things doesn't go the way you want it to go. It goes in a skewed direction, but this completely different direction ends up working out in your favor in a very optimistic way. So synchronicity relies on also unanticipated, right, unanticipation, but the end result always usually works out in your favor in succession, a cascading, a cascading array of perpetual events this perpetuate itself on and on and they're connected but they're not this is the paradoxical scenarios of synchronicity is because they're all connected but they're simply not right on a fundamental physical i mean we could get down into to quantum mechanics and, and, and on a molecular level and how atoms and um how these atoms operate and how some of these molecules only appear when the conscious observer is observing it. But we don't, we don't want to get into this, the, uh, a discussion of physics because too many jargon involved. And it's, it, that is more esoteric, right? More deals with a sub, only a small, ma, minuscule um, a collective group of the population could, could interpret this. But we're looking at things from a more, more general perspective. Synchronicity is a cascading event, perpetuated uh, continuity that tends to work out in an optimistic way for, for the person that's pursuing it. Here's the interesting thing with synchronicity and uh, serendipity. If you believe in it, it exists, but if you don't, it doesn't. It's almost, it's, it's like, it's, it, it feels like, it's like quantum mechanics, but in a physical, it's like the physical attribution of quantum mechanics. It's like atom in the physical, realistic, visual perspective sense. It's weird, man. It's real weird. So it's very understand that we differentiate the difference between synchronicity and serendipity. And may I reiterate this one more time? And I'm not regurgitating all those mediocre, pseudo-mundane rubbish I've read online. This is my articulation of the, the differentiation. Come on, man, put your thoughts together, man. This is my articulation of the differentiating, differentiating factor of um, synchronicity versus serendipity. Serendipity is a successive chains 
of unanticipated, unanticipated events that does not necessarily go in the direction or the particular direction that you anticipate. It goes in a completely skewed direction, but it somehow works out in your favor in an optimistic way. And synchronicity is a succession of cascading events that tends to work in your favor in, 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 in what's the word I could use, right? Um, um, it's perpet perpetual continuity that goes in your favor that you some somewhat foresee in the future. They're mutually exclusive, although they they they're closely related. But I've seen though they they are both used interchangeably, and I've I've seen them used out of context a few times. So um yeah yeah, that is the major differentiating factor between synchronicity and serendipity, and this is not esoteric information. This is these are these are some of the most ex external. Mystif mis mystifying mysteries of, of the, 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 the external world that we, lay, we live in, that we are all trying to demystify. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite a phenomenon. And the mystifying this enigma is a, is a passion that will defy human description. description. Um, thank you very much. My name is Atelston Fitzgerald Holder, the first, a pull my freaking time, man, because I'm proud.